tax time pretty much passed. The deadline is next Monday. So just make sure that you have your taxes filed or you've requested an extension. I know this is an exciting time and we always joke about, oh, it's tax time. So people absolutely have money to blow on sneakers or whatever else they want to treat themselves to. And some may think like, oh, you could use your money for so many other things. Well, I've done a video in the past where as long as you're not just totally blowing your tax refund um, on just wants, if there are immediate needs you need to take care of, go ahead and do that during this past two years. If your income is unstable in any way, that's a really good time to build up your savings fund. So finally got my taxes completed. Uh, this year was a little bit different than last year because I actually made out or came out, I should say, ahead in terms of my profits and being a creative. And of course, that's not my full time career, but that income in relation to what I'm able to write off, I actually still came out ahead. So I guess that's actually a win for me in terms of being productive and uh, being booked for more campaigns. But it left some money over based on really good planning. So what sneaker did I pick up? I surround my soul with the positivity. That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see. Yeah. These days I don't worry about much. I think we should have some more fun. I still dream about the days when we were young. Take it What's going on, everybody? It's your girl TJ back. Another video on talks with TJ. Just a quick vid in relation to taxes creating. Now, of course, this is not like I am not giving you legitimate tax information. Okay, go seek that from a certified uh, actual account. Now, I'm just going to share with you uh, just understanding like taxes when you're creative, just some basic things, right? So if you earn income, let's say whether it's via YouTube, if you're a creator and you're monetized or you are booked for a job, right? The sneaker projects you may see me part of, whether it be the Steph Curry celebration for his three pointers or working with eBay in a multitude of ways usually on Instagram, or it could be any other project, right? I actually worked behind the scenes with Nike Inhibit um, on a project last year for women. So when it comes to any of those specific jobs, you're sent a 1099 during tax time, and that serves as your tax document to report that income zero taxes are taken out prior to you receiving that so when you look on the actual 1099 form you'll see like a the the slot for federal taxes and state taxes and county taxes it's left blank they're not accounting for taxes so it is on you as a creative to just be smart and what i do every single time i have a paid campaign and they pay out also be aware you're usually paid out like net 30, but it's usually net 60. So yes, I've done a job. I don't get paid until 60 days later for that job. Put, I personally put aside anywhere from 20 to 22% of uh, that check and I put it actually in an account with my credit union and it's in the savings and I just don't touch it. I don't think about it whatsoever. Whenever uh, I'm offered an amount for a campaign, I automatically only look at, let's say 80% of that as being money I get to spend or save or invest or do whatever it is that I need to do because I know come tax time, I need to account for the fact that taxes were never taken out up front, and I'm probably gonna have to you know, pay those because no matter what, you're gonna have to pay Uncle Sam's so when it comes to just jobs and you get a 1099, I would say account for the taxes as you go along. That way you're not hit with some bill during tax time when you're finally finished um, filing, whether it's for federal or for state. Um, and then keep track of all of your write-offs, your expenses, like so much is a write-off. Trust me, so much is a write-off when you're creating, but nonetheless, you still have to keep track of all of that. I personally use QuickBooks just because it's really easy for me to keep track of anything um, that is used as part of creating the channel, supplies, right? Whether it be a mic, it can be stands, it can be tripods, lighting, all of that counts. When I traveled last year, all of that counts as well. Um, when you're actually filling that out too, based on space you may use in your home, utilities, all of that can, can be used based on what type of, um, deduction you would want to use because there's always like two different ways in which you can go about it same way with standard or itemized deduction so that all plays a part now once we get to that <laughs> um, and you see what you either are getting back from the government or you owe whether it's federal or state there are kind of two schools of thought and i used to be the person that just automatically in my mind like no i would never want to loan uncle sam interest-free money which i still feel that way i don't want to loan uncle sam interest-free money during the year, I just, um, he would never do it for me. 
So that's why I don't want to do it for him, okay? But uh, this is why I follow other financial pages on Instagram because they can open your mind and kind of broaden your horizons to look at something a different way. So Personal Finance Club, it's a page I absolutely adore. Um, he actually said, well, hey, think about it this way. So if you took home that money every single paycheck versus getting it back in a lump sum as a, you know, a refund during tax time, would you use those incremental amounts of money towards something you really need to do? Or would are you more likely to do that, right? So let's just say you get 2000 back. Are you more likely to have spent that 2000 frivolously during the year? Or if you get 2000 back at one single time during tax time, are you more likely then to put that towards like um, credit card debt or, or down, you know, a down payment towards a car, or paying off of a car, or paying off a student loan, or, you know, building, you know, reinvesting back into something creatively or whatever your job is, you're probably more likely to do it with that one lump sum than you may be with anything else so once he explained it that way i said you know what getting a big amount at the end of the year that could you know or during tax time that could work for you depending on who you are so i my mind has definitely changed to think that it, it's based on behavior and what works best for you so for myself um again i I came out with a profit of what I earned creatively and then taking my career salary into effect versus what I, you know, I'm able to write off. So, uh, cause it's really not my career that I have to worry about in terms of taxes. I taxes are taken out for that. Plus my 401k plus I contribute to my Roth IRA. Also funny side note, I literally made less than $1,200 working at Kiss of Walker in 2021. Now, granted, I worked like four hours on a Saturday and that was it. But yeah, less than 1200 and I quit in October. So, um, that being said, I owed for federal few grand. And here's the thing. I actually had excess money sitting over in my savings account. Why? Cause I put aside more than I actually needed to from those jobs, just really being proactive. So with that being said, uh, that extra money is sitting there. It's time to treat myself. So I posed the question like, hey, on the community tab, what sneaker do you guys think I picked up? Not a lot of you got it right. I told some of you don't cheat because I shared it on social media already. But um, I went back and forth in my mind, which do I pick? Like there were so many different combinations of options. Fear of God, do I get this sneaker? What if this sneaker goes up? What if I really want this? There were so many combinations that went through my mind, okay? Between getting like an Adidas pair and rope laces and shorts and I could have a fit if I just get a top, like, it was hard. At the end of the day, I settled on the Nike Air Max One Concepts Heavy. So it was only like $200 or 203 or something on GOAT. And I just had this fear of if I wait and if I let the price go up, in 2022 because i think the price could absolutely go up on these i would just i would be so upset at myself if it went up to 300 400 and i could have picked it up at, at 200 just plus um taxes and shipping and fees so heavy is coming home so i will have two of the three by dion and concepts uh to me they are definitely in the running for sneaker of the year i've shared that before i have the entire video on the mellow here on the channel so as soon as heavy arrives you know i'll give you my thoughts on that but yeah i i took care of business had a little bit of fun and there's also another sneaker on the way We'll talk about that in a different video, but thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, actor age, not your shoe size. Peace.